Hundreds of mounted soldiers formed up outside Windsor Castle today as the household division pulled out all the stops to put on a ceremonial show full of military pomp and splendour. The mounted band of the Blues and Royals provided the music to celebrate the arrival of Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nihan and his party, who were greeted by the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh on a specially constructed royal dais decorated in Emirati colours. The royal couple and their guests stood together to take the salute from the Sovereign's escort as the band played the Emirati anthem. Then the royal party were ushered into carriages for a special procession through the streets of Windsor, with the Sovereign's escort flanking them on all sides. In the castle's quadrangle, the immaculate Welsh guards formed up into two rows with the royal standard flying overhead. The UAE leader was then accorded the honour of conducting the inspection of the guard with the Duke of Edinburgh, who led Sheikh Khalifa up the line of soldiers. Britain is hoping the visit will boost trade between the two countries, which has in the past focused on defence contracts. But tomorrow, when the president comes to Downing Street, David Cameron is also expected to raise the case of the three Britons jailed in Dubai for possessing drugs, who accused the Emirati police of torture. Just moments after the royal procession has left, and already the clean-up operation is in full swing. Windsor is used to such lavish displays of pomp and ceremony, but the scale of today's welcome is an indication of the UK's desire to strengthen ties with the UAE, despite whatever differences we may have over human rights. Rosie Layden, Forces News in Windsor.